Welcome everyone. Today's video is going to be a really quick tour of my place. We haven't got flooring in yet, so it's literally just going to be a tour of the pretty much empty shell of the building. I got my keys two days ago. I did already film this video for you, but annoyingly my stupid camera decided to not keep the footage. So I have to refilm the whole thing again. It's as empty as it can be, but I have put a few little bits and pieces in the kitchen just because my parents wanted me to get the stuff out of the house. But for the most part, it's an empty shell, so come on in. Here's the door. I love the fact that it's white and obviously the lovely bow they left here as well, the lovely touch. If you didn't know already, I bought with Red Row as well. So as we walk in, to the, to the left hand side, sorry, I can't get my left and right right today, um, we have the laundry cupboard. So this is actually a really spacious cupboard, which I was really pleased about actually. I love the fact that you can hide away your washing and you know dirty things. You don't have to have it on display in the bathroom or anywhere else. They provided this washer dryer, which I'm really happy with. It means I haven't got to buy one, obviously. And my plan for this room is just to have some shelves put up all the way up here, just so I can put all my towels and you know bedding that's um, fresh and all of that, just because I want everything out of the way. We don't want to have anything on display. And then I can also just have maybe a little cupboard built in down here, which will house all of my cleaning things as well. But that's all yet to be decided, you know, it's early stages. So to the left, we then have the second cupboard. Um, this, I guess it's meant to be a cleaning cupboard, but I'm actually going to use this as a walk-in wardrobe because we're going to use the utility for the cleaning products. We can use this as a walk-in wardrobe and look how big it is. I mean, there's so much space in here. I'm probably going to have some racks put up, maybe some shelves. I could have some bits for my shoes to put down here as well. We do have a fuse box in here um, with some area they didn't decide to paint. That will be highlighted to them. And that's just the boring fuse box, which I have no idea how this works. <laughs> and then on this side, we just have a built-in internet. So that's really handy. I literally have to phone BT and obviously pay and get that sorted. And then we have the internet straight away. So that's really handy. So the thing I love about this is we have a little phone and screen and basically you can see who's downstairs. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Um, no, I think someone has to phone up to make that work, but it's really handy. Oh, <laughs> no, I can't put it back on. But it's really handy that you can obviously see who's there. If there's any weird creeps, you're not going to let them in. So here's the bathroom. As you can see, I picked a really nice grey tile, which I really love. I'm really happy with how the tiles came out. The only fault that I can say about this bathroom is the fact that the um, panel isn't on properly. As you can see, it's kind of in there and then it goes out, out, out there. So I'm definitely going to get them to fix it. And then there was also a little bit of chip tile here, which of course is going to cause mould. So I'm going to have to pick that up with them as well. This is from B&M. Here's the little sink. And that's just a Blue Avenue spray of what, that I put in there. There's a toilet. Obviously, there's no flooring in yet. And then we have a chrome um, rack as well for towels to warm them up with. So, to the left-hand side, we have the bedroom. And this bedroom is lovely. I love the fact we have this massive bed window. It's absolutely perfect. The only problem we have with this is the fact that, guess how much curtains are going to cost for this? Oh, only £900 for this room and the next room for two curtains because they're not standard sizing. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do about that. I'm a little bit concerned. I haven't got £900 to spend on curtains, we'll see. Um, as you can see, the radiator's in front here. And then we have a mirrored wardrobe here as well, which isn't the biggest, hence why I'm going to use the cupboard as a second um, storage, but I really do like this space as well. It saves having too many mirrors, because of course you've already got one built in the room, but you can never have too many mirrors, I'm sure I'll get another one as well. And then across this wall here, we're gonna have the bed. So the bed's gonna be in the middle of the room, in between the two plugs, and then we're gonna have two bedside tables, lamps on them, and probably mirrors behind the lamps, give it a really luxurious feel. And that's pretty much this room done at that stage. Follow me through to the living room and kitchen area. So this is a really big open plan living space, which I really like. To this side here we have the um, balcony and then also 
double doors, which is really nice. As you can see, we have got quite a lot of mud down there at the moment, but that's all being sorted soon. It just needs to be, um, you know, put seeds and some grass on there and stuff. But as you can see a little bit further back, we do have a nice view. We've got like some trees and some grass and stuff. There's not going to be houses built in front, which is really perfect because I didn't want it to be too enclosed and, you know, trapped with people. So that's quite nice. Um, here we just have my floor in, which is ready to be laid tomorrow by my flooring guy. So I can't wait for that to be in because that's going to make the world a difference. I've just got a very grey wood look. And then I have to save the best to last. So the kitchen has got to be my favourite place in the house. I absolutely love a kitchen. I'm so pleased with the size of it. It's perfect. I absolutely love the colour. As you can see, it's a gloss white finish. I love the fact that we have a massive larder cupboard as well. It's perfect. As you can see, I've stocked up in a couple of little bits from Aldi yesterday, which is actually opposite, which is so handy. We then have a built-in fridge and also a freezer. And they provided me with Prosecco and Champagne. They went all out, which was really kind of them for when I moved in, which was nice. Well, not moved in, got the keys. We then have a built-in microwave. And also an oven. And we have some... Uh, where are these from? These are from Ikea. We have a empty cupboard here, which hasn't got a door on it yet because they put the door on the wrong way around, so that's going to have to be fixed next week. Um, we just have a little cupboard here. Um, we have another cupboard here, which I've put my pots and pans in. We have the cleaning cupboard here. It's got some little bits in there. Here's the um, window sill and everything, and just a stainless steel. I feel like I can't talk today, everyone. I'm so tired. <laughs> I always say this is my excuse. Then we have Breville toaster and kettle, which I really like. We have a really dodgy gap, which they are going to fix. And also the pipes are showing at the top there. This whole unit is going to be ripped out, I think, and fixed because it's been a botched job. But never mind. As long as they fix it, it's all right. I'm not too bothered. Here's the, um, the hops. And then here's the drawer, which I filled up with goodies. Then we have my baking drawer, which is going to be probably my favourite drawer. And we have just a miscellaneous drawer as well. I've just put some plates in there for now. And then I've just put my glasses in here, which it will be redone soon. But this is just literally what I did yesterday, just as a quick temporary measure. And then here's just some accessories to make it look a little bit pretty. But as you can see at the moment, there's not too much going on. We've got a lot of rubbish over here. We've got all this stuff that needs to be laid. And yeah. So I really hope you like this really quick tour of my empty house. We're somewhat empty. You know, there's a few little bits and pieces here and there, but it's pretty much empty for the most part. And I'll do another video once we have the flooring in.